About a month ago, I made this video about how I made my PNG tuber avatar. I never expected so many people to watch and like it, and it makes me really happy to read all your kind comments. I'm honestly glad my video helped you on your own PNG tuber journeys. As a token of my appreciation, I decided to make some free PNG tuber avatars. These are great for people who want to try out being a PNG tuber to see how it feels, or for those who aren't confident with their art skills and aren't able to commission an artist to make them one. I've made four unique models, and all of them are fully rigged to work with PNG Tuber Plus, as well as having custom skins for Spud Tablet and Spud Controller. They also all have the same three expression toggles as well. Everything mentioned in this video is completely free and will only cost you a little bit of time. The links to everything you need will be in the description below. I'll also explain in this video how to set them up and use them, but first, let me show you the models. First up, we have Cypher. He's a cool little guy with a kind of sci-fi futuristic theme. He has a default expression, a happy expression toggle, and a looking down toggle to pair with Spud Tablet. Shout out to Void Mother for that suggestion. Here's what the Spud Tablet setup looks like with his custom skin. Here's his custom arm overlay if you want to use that as well. And here's his custom Spud Controller skin. Next we have Julia. She's a fox girl with a kind of classy aesthetic and has a bit of a flowery thing going on. She has the same expression toggles as Cypher, so we have the default expression, the happy expression, and the looking down expression for Spud Tablet. Here's a Spud Tablet setup with her custom skin. She basically has the same tablet I used for my own model, but with some cute flowers on it. Here's her arm overlay skin. And here's her Spud Controller skin. Then we have Vance. He's a cool guy with a sort of Asian dragon theme. As you can see, he has a dragon pattern on his clothing and a big chunky bead necklace. I was pretty proud of the physics on that. Again, he has the same expression toggles as the other models, so he sees default expression, his happy expression, and his looking down expression toggle. Here's his custom spud tablet setup. I was worried there may be too much orange, but the dragon's cool, so it's fine. Here's his custom arm overlay. And here's his custom spud controller setup. Finally, we have Cassie. She's a cute girl with a pop star vibe. Little K-pop, little fantasy, that kind of thing. Just like the other models, she has a default expression, a happy expression, and a down looking toggle. Here's her custom spud tablet skin, her arm overlay, and her custom spud controller setup. So yeah, those are the free models I've made available to download in my coffee store. Again, the links are in the description. Let me know which one you like best in the comments. Now that you've picked and downloaded one of my models, let's get you up and running as quickly as possible. My models are super easy to set up and should work right out of the box. First, you want to download PNG Tuber Plus. My models only work in that program. Once you've done that, unzip the model file you downloaded from my coffee store. You can put it anywhere for now. Then open PNG Tuber Plus. It'll probably look a little different to this when you open it, but don't worry about it. You want to click this pencil icon in the bottom right here to go to edit mode. Next, press the escape key on your keyboard and it'll open this window with all the PNG Tuber files in it. You want to go back to my model files, in the PNG Tuber Plus folder, and move all of these files into the window that opened in PNG Tuber Plus. These are the image files for the model and the actual rigged model itself. Once you've done that, you can close the window and then in the top here, you want to click on the folder icon and look for the save file of my model. It will be called Norvo underscore and then the name of the model dot save. Once you've loaded it up, it should appear just like this. If it's too big, you can hold the control key on your keyboard and scroll with your mouse wheel to change its size. Now click the X here in the top left corner to exit edit mode and go back to the main screen. Make sure your microphone is set up by clicking the microphone icon here at the bottom, just above the pencil. Then turn your microphone on and just talk or make noises or whatever. The model should move and react to it. And that's basically it. Your model is up and running and ready to go. From here, you can change the background by clicking the cog wheel here. You can set it as transparent or have a green screen background. It depends on your preference. I like to use the green screen because it makes it easier when editing videos. But if you're just streaming or using the model as an overlay, then transparent is fine. Then you want to set up a window capture in OBS, like so. And then adjust the model on screen to your liking. Super easy.
Now for Spud Tablet and Spud Controller, those are the exact same setup wise, so I'll be showing you Spud Tablet, but if you're doing Spud Controller, then just pretend I'm saying Controller when I say Tablet, it's all the same. So you want to download whichever Spud program you want to use, again, links in the description. Then extract the program and put it wherever you want, mine's on my D drive. Then go to my model files you downloaded earlier and look for the corresponding Spud folder. Go inside and you'll see two folders in here. One's called Original, which has all the original default skins in case you ever want to revert back to default. And the other is called Override, which has all my custom skin files. You want to copy and paste these files inside your Spud program folder. It'll ask if you want to replace the items in the folder, say yes. Then open Spud program, and if you did it correctly, you should see the custom skins right away. If not, then make sure you copy and pasted the correct files. After that, you want to set up your Spud program in OBS using a window capture, just like we did with PNG Tuber Plus. Spud tablet will need a chroma key filter on it, but Spud controller shouldn't. However, you can go into Spud controller settings in the files. There's a .ini file, and you can go through there and change it to have a green screen if you want. But by default, it's just a transparent background. But that's basically it. Your model should now be fully functional and ready for you to use. Super quick and easy. If you want to adjust the animation settings of the model in PNG Tuber Plus, you're more than welcome to do so. However, I do recommend checking out a how-to guide if you don't know how the program works. Suru Draws has a fantastic one worth checking out. You're also free to use my models in whatever way you like. However, please do not edit the original art files. Don't copy them, trace them, sell them, or pass them off as your own. I'd also appreciate it if you don't use my models to promote hate speech or to attack and discriminate others. I don't want my artwork being associated with that kind of thing. Just don't be a d It's not difficult. I hope you like my models, and I'd love to see what people do with them. If you'd like a custom model of your own, then I am currently taking commissions. I have a limited number of slots available, and they won't be open forever, so bear that in mind. You can check out my coffee for more information. Anyway, a huge thanks once again for all the kind comments and support, both on my original PNG Tuber video, and all my other content in general. I'm glad that people are enjoying my videos, even if they're just random nonsense most of the time. <laughs> Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!